still the weighted Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic. It's not often that we're treated to a game world as far reaching and vast as those of Bethesda's Fallout games. It's been five long years since we've been graced with a new title, but finally, Fallout 4 is here. It's time once again to take up arms and live out the great American fantasy. Blowing the fuck out of some mutants. But we've done this all before, haven't we? It's only natural then that Fallout 4 as the first entry on 8th gen consoles should be a huge step forward, indeed the game is making many new additions to the already established formula. But is that enough? And has Bethesda's latest dropped a bomb? Or is this entry Nuclear Holocaust? Let's find out. War. War never changes. Those are the famous lines, aren't they? War never changes. And with that, the story in Fallout 4 begins in earnest on the day the bombs fell. Your character has been selected to have a space in the local vault, number 111. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <laughs> Upon entering, it's immediately clear that things are not what they seem, and you're put on ice, only to awake 200 years later. different world than the one you left. Even if you've already visited the wasteland before, Fallout 4 does a great job of putting you in its world and making it feel alien all over again. Suffice to say, it's very dark stuff, and considering the early events, I don't know I'd recommend making your significant other in the game. Though it certainly makes everything have a bit more of a punch. Such a cute nose. Providing incredibly strong motivation to see this story, with all its twists and turns, through to the end. The game's world is incredibly rich dense and absolutely gargantuan. There are many well-developed characters, factions, and quests all vying for your attention. Indeed, there's just as much to be gained from reading notes and terminals, or even just putting things together on your own, as there is from interacting with any one character. And you'll be inclined to discover it all. Everything in Fallout 4 feels significant, and it's clear that this game was written with a lot of passion and love. This is one of the more interesting stories I've yet experienced in a game of this size. It is both deliberate in its actions and unbelievably well-developed. I simply can't say enough how much I enjoyed the story, and I would highly recommend it to anyone looking for a good adventure. In terms of its gameplay, Fallout 4 shares much of the same DNA and design principles as does other role-playing games. You're dropped off in a massive world with many things to do and lots of ways to complete them. But, in the same way that Skyrim refined the mechanics of Oblivion, Fallout 4 feels like a well-oiled machine when compared to 3 or New Vegas. A prime example of Fallout 4's improvements is the minute-to-minute -minute combat. The previous Fallout 4 titles felt stiff in contrast to many first-person shooters on the market, Fallout 4 makes great strides in making the gunplay feel fantastic. This, in sharp contrast, the sometimes clunky nature of 3's weapons that more often than not had players relying on the VAT's targeting mechanic. Speaking of which, it's also been changed in this latest incarnation. Instead of fully pausing the action, it merely slows time while you choose which appendages you'd like to dismember. In short, this leads to some wonderfully brutal results. Like other role-playing games, much of the fun in Fallout 4 comes from exploring the game world and discovering all that it has to offer. You can easily spend just as much time taking in the scenery of the game and scavenging notes and collectibles as you can exploring any of the main quests. In addition to the usual tropes of the genre, Fallout 4 also adds a new building mechanic to the mix that allows the player to make their own towns by building homes, setting up defenses, growing food, and making trade routes. This is without a doubt the most unexpectedly awesome, fruitful addition to the game, 
and can suck hours of your time as you cultivate the perfect settlements. Put this all simply, Fallout 4's many elements serve to make the gameplay more than the sum of its parts, and a fantastic experience overall. In terms of visuals, Fallout 4 is much improved when compared to Bethesda's last release in Skyrim. The irradiated Commonwealth Adventure offers improved draw distances, more fully realized lighting, and for the first time ever, full voice acting for your character, in addition to the citizens of the Wasteland. Looking good, if I do say so myself. This was one change I wasn't sure about going into the game, but as it turns out, your character is well cast and makes conversations far more enjoyable, in the same way the Mass Effect titles are which they've basically aped the dialogue wheel after all, so that makes sense. Throw in an excellent soundtrack, much improved sound effects, denser, more open environments, and Fallout 4 is the total package. In conclusion, this is a game that everyone who enjoys the medium should experience. Everything from the meticulously crafted world to the refined gameplay and well-written narrative served to make Fallout 4 one of the best releases of the entire year. Fallout 4 gets a 5 out of 5. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked this video be sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up and all that jazz. I'm finally on break from school so I'll have more videos coming more often over the next two months or so. Uh, look forward to lots of GameCube stuff on the way, and maybe even a few surprises. As always, thank you for watching and supporting Game Room Hero. Till next time.